From the Louvre in Abu Dhabi to paintings going under the hammer. The spotlight on Middle East art is growing, but what's driving it? The UAE is one country that's invested heavily in a bid to carve out an image as a regional arts hub. On one end, the institutions have really grown, strived and are now part of the community. Then I think the second point is it's a much educated, much more educated um, client base. Art aficionados, they travel to fairs, they travel to exhibitions, they travel to biennales, whether they're in the region, whether they're in Asia or in Europe. So it's a much more educated crowd than when this market started. And I think that reflects a lot, for example, in our sales, where the past five years we've seen an increase from UAE clients of 231% of activity cross category, which is huge. In 2017, auction house Sotheby's moved its Middle East base from Doha to Dubai. It joined Christie's, which has been in the Emirate for more than a decade. Both have held high profile auctions in the UAE, drawing on collectors with disposable income. An investor base Sotheby says is changing. I think with China's uh, growing influence in the region and partnerships and trade deals, you have more and more Chinese buyers that are interested in Middle Eastern art. Um, but, uh, and, and that's, I think, a very interesting development. But across the Middle East, the market has become recognised for much more than the buying and selling of art. Whilst major international auction houses have set up outposts in the UAE in recent years, the growing Middle East art market has also given rise to an increasing number of less commercially driven cultural institutions like this, the Jamil Art Centre in Dubai. It only opened last year and aims to become a leading name in the UAE, Middle East and South Asia region. The Jamil Art Centre here in Dubai is the first uh, contemporary art museum for Dubai. So really plugging a gap and sitting alongside the commercial galleries and the other kind of elements of the scene. And then in Sharjah you have the Sharjah Biennial which is totally established as one of the leading biennials in Asia. And uh, it's been going for you know, 15 years now so it's really incredibly well established. And these kind of different elements all make up a maturing art scene. Here you can find contemporary pieces from around the world, though those from the UAE and Middle East are a focal point, showcasing art from the region that experts say is increasingly desired globally. There's pretty much no major international museum nowadays that doesn't take notice of the Middle East, doesn't collect Middle Eastern artists for their collection or put on shows. So, but, you know, wind back the clock sort of 15, 20 years ago, that would have been unheard of. So we've really seen this complete sea change. The UAE and the Middle East appear to be painting a new picture of regional art.